been told you found something suspicious. Report, soldier. Yes, sir. The cleaning squad went down, but they came back early, saying they found some metallic debris in one of the tunnels. The prisoner says they're relics. Uh, I thought I should tell you. If they actually are relics and not the fantasies of a group of gullible fools, you did the right thing, soldier. So, prisoner, describe what you saw and what makes you think it was relics. Unless you happen to be an expert. I'm not the one who said they were relics, sir. I'm, uh... He did. I just saw metal scraps down a hole in it. Enough. You, speak. There really is metallic debris in one of the tunnels dug by the moles. Old metal, manufactured. That's why I think it could be what's left of some colonial facility. And do you have much experience with colonial facilities? Not really. It's just a guess. Well, well. A smart prisoner. This camp is chock full of surprises. Mary, my dear, do go down and see what this is all about, will you? Tell me if our local genius here is right or wrong. Yes, Master. And take him with you. With someone else. Give me a report. And... Mary? Don't take any unnecessary risks. Yes, Master. It's here. We didn't go down. The debris looked strange, so we went back up immediately. Oh, really? Really? You were right. It does look like pre-turmoil ruins. A lot of people would have just mistaken it for drilling machinery. What did you do before the war? Well, I... What the... The Queen! No way I'm sticking around. You stay with your girlfriend. What in the world? Let's charge some fluid now. We need a powerful shot to collapse this tunnel. And that thing will follow us. What about the relics? No, we can't just... Just do it, dammit! I'm gonna try to draw them deeper into the cave. But we haven't got a lot of time. Such a shame. We'll never know what was in the tunnel now. Maybe we could send in a squad to clean out the rubble. With that creature down there? With all due respect, ma'am, I don't know many people with the guts to do that. You told me exactly what to do. How is it that you know so much about the powers of technomancy? I worked with one, once. Nothing more. Is that so? Fine then, let's return. I must report this. Roy, if you need a hand for a job or something, you know where to find me, right?
Master. They were indeed relics from pre-Termal times. They were? The tunnels were inhabited by a queen, who had to run away and collapse the tunnel. I failed, Master. I'm sorry. Mary, I am sure you did what had to be done. I told you not to take any unnecessary risks, and you did not. You did well. Master? Master! Sean? It... it can't be. Not you. How could that monster kill you? How dare he take your things? she doing here? Won't take long for a patrol to show up. I better get her out of the way. There you go. Looks like she's waking up. Did you really think you could kill my master and get away with it? After running away with your tail between your legs? You thought a weak woman would never come after you, didn't you? Mary, Mary. Like you said, your master didn't give us a choice. You're exhausted and really worked up. I... I feel weak. But when I got here, I was full of anger and power. What has happened to me? You had an overload you couldn't get rid of. Young Technomancers are almost never told about things like that. It makes it harder for them to escape. You were alone, and all that power took over. Now you're empty. You should rest. I feel awful. Like I've been ripped to shreds inside. The overload was too strong. You need help. I'll go find some medicine so you can recover. Here, take this. It'll prevent any internal bleeding and get you back on your feet. I... I should thank you, shouldn't I? If I join you... Will you teach me to control the Overload? I could teach you how to do that, yeah. Some people even learn to use the Overload without suffering too much from its effects. Are you going to sleep with me? Sean did. Why not? You owe me. Especially since, without me, you wouldn't last long before the Source saw you. If it means I'll survive, then you can do what you want with me. Take this. It'll prevent any internal bleeding and get you back on your feet. I... I should thank you, shouldn't I? If I join you, will you teach me to control the Overload? I could teach you how to do that, yeah. Some people even learn to use the Overload without suffering too much from its effects. Are you going to sleep with me? Sean did. If it happens... I want it to be because you wanted to, not because you feel you have to. You can help me a lot, Mary, but you're not my slave. Maybe, but I want to survive. And if that's what it takes, it doesn't matter. I'll say it again. You don't have to, Mary. You should only give your body to someone if you want to, not treat it like a piece of meat. I... before now... Everyone used my body in exchange for my life, or for knowledge. I'll think about it. Thank you, Roy. Come with me. I'd like to have you with me. It would be a pleasure. I prefer it when I'm with you. Roy, can I do something for you? 
I was wondering... You don't want to change what you're wearing? You're dressed as ripped to shreds. Not really, um, discreet. This dress reminds me of who I am. It's a testimony of my shredded past. I've lost so much due to my ignorance. Today, I am what I am. A pariah. A renegade hunted by my peers. But also a new woman. Free to determine her own conventions. Without bonds. I suppose I can understand that. You're a little lost here. It's your last link to your past life. All right, fine. We'll go on like that. How did you become apprentice to the warden of a prison camp? It's a long story. I... I'm sorry. I really don't know you. I'd rather talk about it some other time. What are the Abundance Technomancers like? Do they have the same status as here? I... I don't know much about it. But from what I saw, the people are afraid of them. Just like here. Even though they'll never be allowed to hold the highest offices. But they're in the army. They're officers. They are not allowed to form cliques or teams. A master is simply allowed an apprentice, nothing more. They're primarily a military unit. For the battlefield. Nothing more. Why did you take the risk of following me? You would have kept your status and rank with abundance. I... I was so angry. Livid with rage. Sean had saved and protected me. I wanted to avenge him. Now I see that he was using me. But how was I to know that then, when he was all that I knew? I followed you for one reason. To kill you. You said he saved you? Yes, I... I'm sorry. I don't really want to talk about it. I want to tell you something else. I was wondering... You still don't want to talk to me about your past. I... I'm sorry, Roy. I promise that when it feels right, and I've had time to sort it out, I'll tell you my story. Mr. Temperance, I'm Devotion. General Onagrand sent me. He'd like to talk to you. Strange kind of invitation, seeing how they're looking for me. I thought I had observed all the formalities. Please forgive me. If you fear for your life, please understand that the General does not currently wish you any harm. Now that's a relief. Are you sure you're normal? I believe so. On the other hand, I'm only following the orders I've been given. Given your current, uh, situation, I suggest you go to him through the Tyrville Underground. You sure got the right name, don't you? Devoted, calm as they come. Yeah, all right, I'll go. And me? Am I invited too? I think you can come too. We didn't know Mr. Temperance had a... companion. That explains why the invitation didn't mention you. Please forgive us. I... I think I'd like to go too. Okay, let's go together then. All right, listen. I'm trying to understand how they got so powerful. I am worried. So I decided to put together a group of people to find out. You already know Devotion. She's my eyes and sometimes my hand. I'd like you to join her in the group. But I'm sure you have questions. I have one. You say you never like Technomancers, yet you ask Roy for help. I know how to tell the difference between the Technomancers from the Source and a Renegade girl. And even if you obviously have the same skills and are a bit disturbed, you'll understand that I'm not worried about you betraying me. Neither of you will find the Source and reveal the existence of my little group. And both your skills and knowledge of the enemy will be useful to me. It's true. Listen, I think the only way I can get out of this is by working for you. What do you say? You know I'm good. You really think that after what you just did, I'm gonna hire you? Without mentioning how you're a turncoat? Keep dreaming. But you know I won't have a choice anyway. I'll have to stick to you like glue and take part in the fight. Now it's up to you, of course. He's pretty disgusting and doesn't seem very honest. But I like the way he speaks. 
He says funny things. Listen to the chick. She walks around half naked and it's like there's a meltdown going on between her ears. You already got a nutcase with you. Why not a bastard? Why do you worry so much about that child? Is he your apprentice? No, I met him in the camp. He was lost in real trouble. We escaped together. I guess that made us get closer to each other. I see. Even if I don't really understand why you're doing all this for him. You're taking a lot of risks just for someone you escaped with. Are you sleeping with him? Mary, not every human relationship is about sleeping with people. You can appreciate someone without doing that, especially with a kid. Does that mean no? Fuck yeah, that means no. You got a lot of good information, apparently. Hmm. <laughs> Some young person came here to hide just after. Judy. She told me what happened. And there's also someone sniffing around your place. A girl who works for the general. That'd be devotion. She's his right-hand man, armed, from what I understand. My poor Roy. You have to decide. You're going to need allies if you want to help the boy. And scenes I doubt the Resistance can put up with honor and vice versa. You should go talk to the two women. See what they suggest. The lady's right, Roy. We need allies. Especially with all these people after us. The lady's always right, sugar. Go find the two girls. You'll see what they have to say. Well, I was expecting a Technomancer. And here we have two. Two for the price of one. I hope neither of you is planning on stabbing me in the back. I... Who would I betray you to? The source is after me too. Just like Roy. Roy, I wanted to tell you. I'm sorry about the boy. I know that he was like an apprentice to you. Thanks, Mary. That's uh, nice of you. I was wondering... I... I think I can tell you now. I was born here, in Shadow Lair. It didn't take long for the Source to find me. I think you had already left. Or I was too young, and you were too old for us to be together. How did you end up in abundance in that case? I... My master at the time had to go fight, of course. And he wanted to take me with him. The Source wanted to refuse. But he had tremendous influence. I found myself on a battlefield, and I was horribly afraid. I think I panicked, and we were separated. Go on, I'm listening. I was so afraid, I fell into a trench. Some men from Abundance came towards me. They were laughing. I... I think they liked the look of me. And then their officer showed up. It was Sean. He seemed really strict. In fact, he was furious with his men. He helped me get up and kept me near him. I know that he had to fight to keep me. That's why he was sent from the front and ended up in Camp 19. Why not talk to me about it? I was afraid you'd abandon me to the Source. Of course, there are good masters there, but there are also... Anyway, I often served them when I was very young. Listen, I'm sorry, Mary. I know some girls are abused, but... Anyway, it's over now. You're free of them. How did you end up in abundance in that case? I... My master at the time had to go fight, of course. And he wanted to take me with him. The source wanted to re- I found- In the end. You must have a virtue name. Mary's not your real name, is it? Right. I was called Mercy. But the name no longer means anything to me. Even if Sean used me, he helped me live again. He stopped me from going insane. He's the one who called me Mary. Just like the rags I'm wearing, I want to keep the name. I understand. I'm not gonna lecture you about changing your name. Let's get back to my other questions. Have you already come here to Greenhope? No, never. I heard about it, of course. 
The battles here were so big, Abundance didn't want to lose the place. It was such a key part of their strength. But that's all. Help us. We haven't done anything to deserve any of this. I was just in the militia. Okay, I demonstrated against the Technomancers, but that's all. Calm down. I'll get you out, all of you, but I can't break the door down. Do you know who has the key? A Technomancer, of course. Their leader here, I think. He's really powerful and heartless. It's horrible, Roy. I didn't think we Technomancers were capable of such senseless atrocity. I don't feel like I have anything in common with them anymore. These people are sick. Their thirst for power has taken the place of their humanity. Do you think I might become as callous as them? Lose my head? You're a bit odd, sure, but no, you're not like them, Mary. Don't worry about it. Roy, I need to talk to you. I'm listening. I... I don't know how it happened, but... I've fallen in love with you. I wanted to tell you before the fighting and all that. I'm really sorry, Judy. I like you, but... I love another. That... that lunatic, Mary? I... I sh sorry, I shouldn't say that. I... I hope you're happy, Roy. Sorry for bothering you with my silly... Please just forget it, okay? Sure, of course. Roy, I've given a great deal of thought about what you said to me. How it's for me to decide who I offer myself to. You... I mean, I really like you. You're really nice to me, and for the first time, when I'm with you, I feel like I'm not just something men wish to devour. I, if you want to, I mean, I certainly would, but I don't mean just physically. I want to be with you, truly. You're not just saying that to save your own skin anymore. I've been hoping this would happen. He'd betray us. Maybe. The Technomancers... We'll go, then. You want one of your friends to come along? I'd like Mary to come with us. I keep asking myself why you drag her along with you. She's, uh... bizarre. Never mind, we may be able to put her talents to use. So all we have to do is enter this office, and it's done. It's gotta end, and now is a good time. I need you to stay here while I sort this out with Judy. You want to be alone with her and the old man? You think she's pretty? And you don't want me to distract you? That's got nothing to do with it, Mary. There's no reason to be jealous. She's the new leader of the Resistance, that's all. This is true. But I also know that she is fond of you. Please, be careful. Trust yourself as I do. You are all I have. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back soon. Let him be dragged in front of an angry mob. Let the people judge him. You were going to debase Aurora in the eyes of the other guilds if you humiliated its dowser. I couldn't allow that. You're completely wrong about us. Yes, he would have been judged, but it would have been fair. We're not here to destroy, but to rebuild. Your beautiful ideas are naive and dangerous, girl. And I was sure you wouldn't understand. But I'm ready to answer for my actions. You will be judged for this murder as well as for your involvement in a corrupt government. 
You will have to answer for many things. Are you sure we can leave him alive after what he just did? You heard him. You think he'll just stand aside peacefully and watch the Resistance form a new government? I'm not like him. I can't kill just because it suits me. He may be a pragmatist, but there is the blood of a hero running through his veins. He fought for Aurora. But this is your fight and your decision. We can't let him live. He'd be like an open sore for the new government. I don't see how you can say that. I have always fought for Aurora, you know that. I contacted you to get your help. It wasn't exactly selfless though, was it? A little give and take, right? Your protection in exchange for my help. Roy, you said that you believe in what we stand for. But killing a man without a trial is not our way. Justice must be the same for everyone. Fine. Let him be judged by the people. Thank you, Roy. Come on. The others are waiting for us. We have a world to rebuild. Mary once thought about joining them, but I convinced her to stay with me. Whatever the future holds, at least we'll meet it together. Roy, seeing how we're alone right now, I wanted to tell you I find you really attractive, and I never met anyone who was really interested in me. I really like you. Really. And as we're gonna have to leave for battle soon, I'd like to spend some time with you. I'm sorry, Devotion. You're a beautiful woman, but I love someone else. That strange Mary. She's lucky. Sorry if I thought. Ah, forget about it. Roy, I've given you, I... You're not just saying that to save your own skin. enter this office, and it's done. Done? No, but we'll be one step closer. I'd rather you stay here. I need to do this with honor, just the two of us. Do you think we're still in danger? Is that why? I can defend myself, you know that. And that man? I'm not convinced we can trust him. Mary, I don't trust him completely myself, and I'd feel better knowing you were safe. This isn't your battle anymore. Please, just wait here. I'll be back. Roy, be careful. You're all I have. I don't want to lose you. I'll be careful, I promise. Be back soon. Honor. And a technomancer. You said you hated them. Not that it really matters. I suppose I was sure you'd end up finding out and coming here full of righteous anger. You betrayed Aurora, its people, and its ideals. You betrayed us all, and you even betrayed yourself. The people were everything for you, but you let the Technomancers do the unspeakable. Why? To be cured? You're not just afflicted, Wisdom. You gave in to madness solely to save your life and your power. Because you and your honor are beyond its call? The truth, my friend, is that you are like all the others. The only thing you see is the mutation, and it disgusts you. And yet, am I not a hero? Have you forgotten our battles and our victories? Did you know that when I returned from Green Hope, I discovered I had patches of diseased flesh? What was I to do? 
At the time, I thought only of the guild. Without my ability to unite the technomancers and the militia, abundance would have won. And that made me afraid. Can you truly blame me for this? You risked letting Aurora fall to pieces to save yourself. You ruined everything for that. What would happen if news of your condition got out? If everyone found out you're a mutant? Yes, you disgust me. But not for the reasons you think. You're going to die, Wisdom. But no one will know of your secret. For Aurora. Goodbye. Sorry. I didn't think he would dare admit to why he did what he did. I don't have a choice now, if I want to keep this a secret. Before you go and do something stupid, I suggest you think twice. I've been keeping a diary, a habit I picked up from a young man who sees more clearly than people think. I gave the diary to people who won't hesitate for a second to make it public if anything happens to me or my friends. But it'd be a shame if some of your secrets came to light. That won't happen if you let us go. You want power just as much as wisdom, but, uh, I don't really give a shit. Like I told you, I wanted revenge on the Technomancers, and to make sure they didn't keep power. And I'm sure you'll be great at stopping them. For the rest... Go, Roy. Go quickly. Go far and never come back. I'll respect our agreement. Goodbye. to stop the Technomancers. They're now gathered in the Source, watched closely, made into a living weapon. I imagine our beloved General would have liked to shut me in there too, but through our agreement I have remained free, and I intend to stay that way. He would have also liked to put Mary there, but that was out of the question, of course. Mary is still with me, and whatever the future holds for us, we'll meet it together. <laughs>